she is a chameleon who is totally self-interested. She will support anything that um, she is told to support. And I think in particular, she is a mouthpiece for the neocons and for war. She will be the neocons president, even more than Biden was. Um, and that has to be clear. She makes that crystal clear. I'm supported by over 200 Republicans who worked for both Presidents Bush, John McCain, Mitt Romney. I'm supported by the former Vice President Dick Cheney, Congress, former Congress member Liz Cheney. Here are some other prominent neocons that support her candidacy. People like from the Bush administration itself, like the beloved MSNBC host Nicole Wallace. Donald Trump is galloping through not just the Republican Party, but the world, cozied up to Viktor Orban, Vladimir Putin, and Kim Jong un. Or Joe Scarborough. I've been supporting the president's steady approach to this war. But now that we're there, it's time the commander in chief tears a page out of General Colin Powell's handbook. Because as the former Secretary of State and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs said, when we go to war, we don't want a fair fight. If we are at war, then we have to win. How's winning going to be defined? Well, in this case, like in World War II, it's simple. Evil has to lose. Mm -hmm. And right now, ISIS on, is on the march. Mm -hmm. Right now, the beheadings continue. Right now, towns and cities continue to fall. And right now, the terror spreads both of whom were very much advocates of this view. These are the people who see the world through this militaristic lens, and they had always been, for good reasons, during the Bush and Cheney era, part of the Republican Party. They were the ones who not only were advocating the invasion of Iraq and the changing of the government of Iraq before 9-11 and then used 9-11 as the excuse to do so, but they also wanted to topple multiple other countries throughout the Middle East. Almost all of them, not all of them, but almost all of them have migrated to the Democratic Party. Another big Republican name backing Kamala Harris tonight. That's the former Vice President Dick Cheney, who says he will vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. A statement was just released from Dick Cheney in which he writes, in our nation's 248 year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. There's no marrow inside the bones of today's Republican party. They're soulless, they're without principle. He undercut all of our allies, all of all the allies that Reagan championed. He, he embraced Russia. I'm a Republican, but I'm not gonna be a Republican anymore. But now I've become not just haters of Trump, but hardcore Democratic partisans. If you are a kind of pre-Trump establishment Republican, the kind that loved George Bush and Dick Cheney, that loved John McCain, think John McCain's foreign policy and John McCain himself are heroic, it is absolutely the case that you should vote for the Democratic Party. As Bill Kristol said, this is my Democratic Party. The solution is to be serious about being engaged in the Middle East, not to go back in militarily to Iraq, but not to pull out 100% of Iraq or Afghanistan and leave them to go back to the same cycle that led to 9-11. Perpetual war in the Middle East. No, perpetual engagement and being serious about our responsibilities to the world power. And yes, being willing to fight when we have to Look. fight. That shocked a few people when I said, you know, for 2020, I'm a Democrat because the Republican Party, there is no Republican Party separate from Trump.